Buongiorno, buonasera, benvenuti amici, welcome my friends, my name is Vincenzo and welcome to my channel, Fountain Pen Therapy. The therapy today is another Ranga Pen, one of my favorite pen companies, they've always been and I believe they will continue to be and whenever they have interesting models that I haven't yet purchased, uh, I jump on them. You know, I've done several reviews in the last uh, uh, several weeks and um, I have for you uh, one more. Um, and this is a pen that I, I've got to tell you, be very honest with you, I hesitated to buy it because the original version of this pen, the Abbey Manu, uh, was a little bit of a compact size pen, small, small for my taste. Um, and then they came up with the Abbey Manu Grand, or the Giant, or the, the larger version, and that's when I knew that, you know what, it's time for me to, to look at this pen more closely and see what gives. So there you go. And once I bought the Grand, I said, you know what, I'm going to buy the regular size as well. I loved it so much that I'm willing to, to live with the, with the regular size or the compact size of that pen. And in fact, it'll be the subject of uh, another review. So stay tuned for that. So without any further ado, let's go up to my overhead camera and we'll, we'll start the review. So we're back. And here's my pen. This is the Abbey Menu. Grand, grand or giant if you will it's the larger version of the two there is another regular version this is um, not ebonite this is resin and i think it's a just a beautiful resin i i'm really glad i chose this color there you can see there's a variety there's a pinkish blue here then there's gold and red uh, more flat orange Look at the gold here that's reflected again. Um, really, really nice. And then the blue, the blue and the red. Um, I don't know if there's a way for me to turn this so that everything kind of matches, but you would see that this kind of match this. There must be a way that I could turn the mechanism so that it lands that way. But maybe it's just nicer when it doesn't. Oh, well, there you go. It's still, it's landed. Isn't that interesting? Uh, just by accident, I, I managed to do what I thought was not possible so you could see that the chatoyancy on this pen is just just nice and you know i had some hesitations high, uh, ordering this pen i knew that it had some heft and i like big pens um but I, I i thought it was a little bit too compact for my my taste um and then when the grand came out i said well that's got to be the one i'm gonna get and then as it turns out i got both the regular size the compact size and this grand size but all to say is that i'm really really nice it now i really like it the the conical ends on both sides it's clipless and there's no trimmings of any sort what's nice here is that it, it's got a little bit of an indentation so it kind of goes in uh, it's it's not totally flat, and that's what gives it some character. Um, very, very nice. In terms of the inside, well, that's what the inside looks like. These um, rings here are just just very, very soft. They don't don't affect at all. They, um, they you know they don't scratch or anything. Uh, look at the chatoyancy here. Isn't that nice? got a variety of blue it's got, got all the colors there it's got a little tip here so that your fingers don't slide down and it's got some good heft very nice heft very very comfortable as it turns out i didn't think it would be this comfortable um, does it post yes it does uh, i think it's a little too big when it posts um, i don't think you need it frankly and it, it posts kind of wobbly you know it's not meant to post be posted i think um, so very nice pen as you can see um very very nice um it's got a lot of rings for the inside mechanism because it's meant to be an eyedropper so you could see there's plenty it's already greased by the way uh and there you go so you got plenty and then i've got my uh, converter comes with a converter or you can eye drop it and no worries there. There's not going to be any leakage. This is meant to be eye dropped. Uh, uh, that's what Ranga pens are for. So there you have it. 
that's the the inside outer shell and the inside shell very very nice pen uh, i'm very very pleased and we'll take a look at the nib now in terms of the nib they come in different nib sizes and different model of nibs all the german nibs are there the yo -Yo, the the um, bach or the schmidt um, and they come in all sizes right up from extra fine i believe right up to um right up to uh 1.5 stubs they may have flex nibs as well i forget but they're check on their website um, you'll be able to see them i believe they have flex nibs and i believe they have they all some of the pens also come with uh, uh bach size 8 nibs i know because i purchased one um and i believe you can even get them in gold uh, german nibs if that's your preference so there you have it isn't that nice i think it is very very nice pen very happy with it um it's a go-to folks it's a real go-to and it's uh it's a looker as they say uh, very very nice you'll get some looks use this in a boardroom that is going to say what is that <laughs> there you go now let's do a size comparison just to give you an idea what i've decided to do is that I've taken out some of my Ranga pens, not all of them, but just to give you an idea of where, so if you have Ranga pens, it'll give you a better of idea where it's situated. Now, these are my four monsters. This is my Splendor Torpedo. This is my 929, uh, no, Model 5s, excuse me. And this is my Samurai uh, Giant pen. Um, you can see those are just huge. This is seven inches, if, if I'm not mistaken. Then you can take a look at the the um, uh, the smaller uh, versions. This is my Monterey, and I believe you won't find this on the Ranga uh, site. I bought this at the Peyton um, Peyton Street Pens. They they also carry a lot of the Ranga models, and sometimes they have exclusive models that Ranga made just for Peyton Street. Uh, so this is just one of them. Uh, I believe I have three more of the Monterey's. Uh, here you go. I have one in a matte demonstrator and different acrylics. So that's the Monterey. This is, if I'm not mistaken, is the Model 3. This is the Model 4C. This is the Model 4N. This is the Model 5. Uh, this is the Model 8. And I forget if this is the 5C that came from uh, from uh, Peyton, Peyton Street. But there you have it. It gives you an idea. So the Abbey Manu, um, you know, I mean, the, the, the 8B is a good-sized pen. So it rivals, okay? It rivals, it rivals. Uh, so there you have it. That's the Rangas. Okay, so that's the that's the um, size comparison. We'll be right back with the I'll get some ink and a notebook, and we'll be right back with the writing sample. Okay, we're back for the writing sample. Uh, first thing, um, this is the ink we're going to be using. It's um, Bonfire night uh, from van diemen's from the night collection um it's um <laughs> it's, it's quite a, a thriller as they say but i think it kind of matches especially that resin there you know that's what i wanted to kind of evoke um so that's what i went to get and it's got some shimmer in it we'll see how the shimmer reacts in that nib and see uh, it's been sitting for a while so i wouldn't be surprised if it hard started but uh, given that that um, ink is a little dry with that shimmer in it but look let's uh, let's hope for the best now this is the notebook i'm using it's um a, a toma river paper notebook from a company by the name of wonderland 222 you can find these notebooks in etsy in the etsy store fabulous fabulous they are perfectly acceptable alternatives to obonichi um, and very very nice they are um, they come in you know the that that classic um, 
classic grid or graph it gives you the options of putting your own dates so you're not stuck with uh, one page per day there are numberings uh, for if you want a bullet journal there on the side uh, i use these journals now have become my daily journals instead of the obanichi because i found that i was you know i was handcuffed to one page per day and sometimes that one page just wasn't enough so um that this is the wonderland 222 notebook so let's uh, let's close up in and let's just see what this gives and i'll be right back okay let's see how this pen writes so that's the nib right there it's a 1.1 um, steel uh, nib from yoo and uh, we'll see uh, how this pen fares after a while it's been like i said it's been sitting there for a while so i would not be surprised with that shimmering ink that at heart starts but let's hope for the best so the pen is the ranga abby manu and this is the grand version the giant version um, and it's a resin as opposed to as opposed to ebonite okay now in terms of the nib it's a yowo steel gold and a 1.1 stub now in terms of the nib let me be perfectly transparent when this the first time i tried this nib um i must admit it was a little scratchy which is unusual for um ranga usually the the nibs right out of the box mine was a little scratchy and, and it happens so i needed to um to to find to fine tune it the, i tuned it by the way i just had to use a couple of pads these are the pads that i use uh, just to let you know this is the um i bought this i believe they're micro meshes i bought this on at um on uh, amazon and you know you have a variety of uh, meshes there of different categories and different sizes and uh you know and uh, i used i think the thickest one and then it went lower and lower and uh, i managed to get it done and uh, you know what the results are in just a few seconds uh, whatever whatever um and it, it wasn't oh, it wasn't bad it, i just didn't like the feedback plus given that this ink is very dry um i wanted to give the ink a little try i give it a, I give it a go in other words because i do really like this color and i felt it needed to be just smoothed out a little bit so so now i can tell you it is very 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 smooth um so you know the line variation is there yeah and it's wet no doubt about it. it it gives me the line variation that i'm looking for in a stub um, it's very constant so no trouble getting that line down you see there's no skipping no skipping at all okay so the nib is wet constant and now it's smooth so very very nice so far very very nice by the way very comfortable the pen itself i just it's 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 a it's a good looker and it's a go-to pen so now let's look at the rating and i know i use different different categories but i i'd like to give for the pen itself we'll give some points for design we'll give some points for built okay now design i think it's an original design you know it's not your everyday uh you know torpedoed shape or cigar shape pen 
it's got some curves in it. Look, you know, it, it's got kind of a thick here, then it goes thinner, then there's the conical. It gives a little step down. The ring is also decorative. Nice, nice finger placement, and then a little, little step up there. So I think for the design, I'm going to give it a 9.8. I really like the design of this of this pen. Built well, look, it's a handmade pen. Like I said, it's not the fanciest of the world in the world, but I'm going to give my friends at Ranga a 9.8. Very, very nice. In terms of the nib, uh, just because it did come out a uh, little scratchy, I'm, 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 I'm going to give it a 9.2. You know, it's a Yobo jib, a nib, and they can easily be tuned. Uh, most of the time, these things are... Uh, very very nice but i gotta admit uh, when i take a most of my leonardo officina come out really really nice but not all of them so you know most of my rangas came out really nice and this one just happened to have a little more feedback than i like and don't get me wrong some people like that feedback they like when they could feel that or have a little bit of scratchiness on that paper um they enjoy that i personally don't don't want that much feedback. In terms of value, well, this is where all, I think, all of the Ranga pens just out duel anybody. I give it a 10 on 10. Is it a go-to pen? Absolutely go-to pen. So it's a 10-10 for me. So that's it, folks. Um, um, that is my review. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, look, subscribe, enjoy the videos, enjoy the review. Like I said, this is a hobby that provides, at least in my opinion, great therapy. It relaxes you. It gives you some time to yourself. Enjoy it. Enjoy the pens and see you soon.